What's up guys, welcome back to their average video. So today, I wanted to really, really quickly, before work, see if the ice was completely frozen or not. That's a good two, three inches or so. And this is just frozen in the last, like, probably, yeah, it's about two or three inches. And this is frozen in just the last couple of days. Um, I don't think that somebody should be, this is just a small pond too. It's only about three, four, five foot deep or so. But that's good news. I'm in Ankeny right now, so Ankeny's like, Kind of central Iowa, I guess. So that's pretty exciting because maybe some of the northern lakes and stuff are actually frozen uh, over better now. So I'm gonna hop back in my truck and get back to work. But I just wanted to check that this morning when it was still cold and light out. So we'll stick stick with me. Stay tuned. We'll see you tonight. Alrighty guys, well, I just finished up with work and I noticed a lot of people posting, I was on my phone right as I got off work, and I noticed a lot of people posting about being on thin ice, you know, what can you walk on, three, four, five inches, whatever, um, and I'm here to kind of clarify as well as there's some ice even down here in Ankeny, so what I wanted to do today was kind of put together just a quick video for some simple tips for staying on safe ice and making sure that uh, when you are going out into fish on these three, four inches of ice, that you are being as safe as possible. There's gonna be about three tips and these are kind of for people that are sort of on a budget, but at the same time, you need to stay as safe as you can. So first tip I have for you guys, make sure that you're wearing ice cleats when you are on early ice. You do not want to slip and fall because the slip and the concussion of falling could possibly break you through the ice. So make sure you have uh, snow or ice cleats on when you're walking on thin ice. They're super cheap. You can get up, a, you can get a pair of like spikes uh, or something like that for fifteen dollars, if that. Um, and they might uh, they might make or break the ice literally in some scenarios. So tip number one: wear ice cleats when you can. Sometimes they're inconvenient, but you need to have them on. Tip number two is if you don't have a fancy floating suit, make sure that you're staying warm. But also, when you're on this thin ice, walking out to the spot, it's not a bad idea to wear a life jacket. Um, it might look kind of dorky, and you might say that that looks dumb or it's a dumb idea, but there have been times where I'm walking on three inches of ice, and you don't know when it could change from that three to two. You could, you could be still poking, and it's hard to tell exactly with a spud bar how thick that ice is you know one punch could go through two inches one hard punch could also go through three three and a half so it's not a bad idea that if you are going to be uh ice fishing this weekend or tonight or sooner whenever make sure to maybe wear a life jacket you don't have to but i i, I recommend it in scenarios where that's your only choice, you don't have a floating suit. Tip number two. All right, tip number three is going to be a uh, pretty simple one, but it could save your life in certain scenarios. Make sure you have either a throw rope or some sort of rope tied off to like a tree or something. A lot of times when it's thin ice, you're not traveling out to the center of the lake. You're gonna stay on the shores, um, you know, five to eight foot of water. So in those scenarios, it's not a bad idea to tie a rope to a tree or if the parking lot's close, the front of your truck, something that, you know, you could, if you do fall in, there's something to grab and get yourself back out. Yeah, we have our spikes, but sometimes those just don't quite grab enough on the thin, sleek ice, and you'll just end up breaking more and stuff like that. But um, in majority of the scenarios, a rope is never a bad idea. Always have one in your sled, no matter what. You never know when you could use a rope. I've used some of my rope before to like fix a chair even. My hub didn't stay up one time. I had used some rope to fix that. It's always a good idea to have some sort of uh, backup plan if things do end up going wrong. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm gonna be try to be staying up on the ice. It looks like north of Metro is pretty safe ice in Minnesota, as well as there's even some th some good ice here in Iowa. Clear Lake's my hometown, and I've been hearing from a lot of guys that there's possibly six inches in some areas on the lake. So those are perfectly good fishable areas. I've, I had a buddy go out and he caught some perch the other weekend. So stay safe out there, but 
have a good time and uh, yeah, we will see you guys in the next one. This was kind of a quick video, but I wanted to just mention those safety tips um, just to keep precautionary measures when you are traveling out onto this thin ice. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next one. Peace.